Everything starts with a dream, and probably a meeting. When it comes to the French Pastry School of Kennedy King College at City Colleges of Chicago, though, the dreams are of chocolate, and the meetings are about ways to turn chocolate into the things dreams are made of. I am Jackie Pfeiffer, the co-owner of the French Pastry School in Chicago. We created um, a foundation called the For the Love of Chocolate Scholarship Foundation for the ones who want to join the uh, profession of pastry but need a helping hand. The French Pastry School is all about helping people realize their aspirations. It may be to become a pastry chef. It may be to learn how to create something amazing. It may be about changing their life and their circumstances. That's where the For the Love of Chocolate event comes in. I'm Franco Pacini with the French Pastry School. We're raising money for For the Love of Chocolate Foundation and all of the dollars go for tuition dollars for Kennedy King College and our particular programs with Kennedy King College of City College of Chicago. The idea is let's raise funds so that people who are underprivileged or at-risk children through the Chicago public school system can actually afford to come to our wonderful programs. The For the Love of Chocolate event is our annual event. It's a crazy event. We have 60 chefs making food, and we have 30 chefs dressing models with chocolate. As in all dreams, For the Love of Chocolate has touches of whimsy, never more apparent than in the fashion show. And it's a chance for those who have accomplished their goals, achieved their ambition, to give a little back. My name is Michael Washer with Jewel Events Catering in Chicago, Illinois. Franco has been asking me for many years to uh, help out with the For Love of Chocolate, and uh, this is the first year that I've actually had the opportunity to uh, be involved with work. As a company, we wanted to use this as a team building experience, uh, so what we did was we have, uh, there's eight of us who have uh, taken on this uh, project, and we're using the inspiration for the dress for uh, Mr. Jewel's love of peacocks that he has on his uh, summer home, um, and that's what we did here. Never forgetting the chocolate. We're going to make the chocolate teardrops for the outside of the dress. We're going to use cocoa butter, color, chocolate, and our template. We have different mediums of chocolate and gum paste. What we have here is yellow, and then the red. And then we have different sizes for different parts of the dress. And then these are different ideas as well. We have this one, which is very large. And this will give the, the feathers some movement so the dress won't be so stiff. So at this point, we put the chocolate in the refrigerator for a short time. And what happens, the chocolate constricts from the plastic and it just peels right off. The chocolate decoration with the design that we wanted on top. We're very excited to, uh, about the event. There, there's a lot of things that, even though we have our daily work that we have to do, um, the extra time and effort that's involved uh, amongst uh, all of us who are working on the project, we feel very gratified. And this is a small part of what we can do to give back to uh, the community. Others get into the fashion show too, with months of preparation leading up to the event. I'm Mindy Viamensis and I work with Muller & Muller Architects. We had a connection already through the French Pastry School um, and Franco kindly asked us to join. So we're the only non-chefs participating in this event. So we decided to do a coffee themed dress. So our skirt um, and top that's on the table is all made out of coffee filters which we have dyed in Kool-Aid, so cherry, grape, and orange Kool-Aid. 
We paired with Intelligentsia. They've been great, so we hooked up with their marketing department over there um, and was able to secure a lot of their bags. So the Philly stuff that you see on the bottom of the dress um, is all Intelligentsia, which they've got the bright blue and then the red, so you can see that also on the mask as well. This was kind of a little bit of a surprise. Halfway into the process, we had been working with a model um, and she had something come up with work, so she was no longer able to model. Um, and the dress happened to fit me, so it was perfect. And I think that it turned out the way it did because I was modeling it and because I had a day-to-day -day interaction with it. It was something that I was ultimately gonna wear. It sort of became my own personal passion of mine, so a lot of hours have gone into this. Meanwhile, back at the French Pastry School, the planning continues, including other partnerships to help pull off this massive event. I'm Sébastien Cannon, co-founder and uh, dean of faculty and programs of the French Pastry School. Well, with the success of our program, we wanted to uh, continue our mission and help uh, people that were not so fortunate. So we created uh, this foundation for Kennedy King College and for our students to benefit from our program specifically the After School Matters program and uh, Chef Gloria F. Heffer who's been a fantastic teacher, you know, teaching uh, the people in the program how to um, really be professionals. And when it comes to giving back, it goes full circle. Even in the event planning, the French Pastry School takes into account ways it can help make a difference. We are part of the American Culinary Federation in Windy City chapter of that affiliation and myself and Gloria Haffer are both members. I first met Gloria as part of the Windy City chapter. And so when I got to understand what all of her mission was with After School Matters and all of the children that she's helped through that program with the Chicago Public School System, specifically here on the southeast side of Chicago, I thought this is a perfect way for us, the French Pastry School, to be able to give back to the society, Chicago in general, and even help them make it to the French Pastry School. It was geared toward taking kids after school and giving them something positive for them to do, other than obviously the negative uh, factors that are out there. We made this partnership where we work side by side. When there were projects and opportunities, he would call upon me to participate. When I asked him about this one, why did, of all the culinary schools in all the world, Casablanca, did you select our program? It was in the fact that he blatantly said that we know that you are responsible, we know you will get the job done, we know your kids are great kids, after school matters, matters to him and to the city, and we're going to showcase this to let people know the positive side of the teens in Chicago making a difference in their lives. Oh boy, it sounds like this dream is pretty big. While companies and people all over are busy creating their fashion show items, their displays, and their delicious samples for the event, this school group has been handed an assignment like nothing you've ever seen. Just wait till you see what all of the meetings, all of the planning, and yes, all of the dreaming can create. Did I say it starts with a dream? How about a bean? For the Love of Chocolate is an event that starts with big ideas and big dreams. You know the kind of dreams we're talking about. They're the dreams where you can change your life, where you can build something huge, where you can make a difference. In fairy tales, it's the classic Jack and the Beanstalk story. You remember how it goes. Jack's magic beans lead him into new adventures. Well, this is a story about beans, too. Thousands of them. And in this case, they are covered with chocolate. The deal is we have been asked from, from the French Pastry School, who does the Love of Chocolate event every year. In the last three or four years prior, we have participated in a small manner. Right? Franco decided that he wanted a bigger project. The theme this year is a Candyland theme. So what better to project Candyland than a jelly bean? So he had asked if I would be willing to build a jelly bean. So I'm thinking, okay, fine, we'll build one, you know, 18 inches long, a couple inches high, and we'll have it out there. He said, oh, no, Gloria, we want it 
10 feet long, seven feet high, three feet wide. And I went, take a deep breath, you know, and said, okay. So as often happens when someone has a dream, the first step was to sketch the idea out onto simple note paper. The next step was to find a supporter. Jelly Belly is a supporter of our foundation. When we first got to talking and wanted to put something together, they had just developed a product called a chocolate dip, the dip. So it's a Jelly Belly covered with chocolate. And when I took a look at it, it looked to me exactly like Cloudgate, which in Chicago is referred to as the beam. Two beautiful things that came together, and I thought, why don't we put that in real life form at our gala? At first we were thinking, let's do this with students of the French Pastry School. But in essence, we decided to bring After School Matters and Gloria Haffer with her group into working with us. You know, and he said, I know your kids could do it. And he said, let's, let's do this. We'll use Jelly Belly Beans. It'll be the showcase prominent piece at the event. And um, would you be willing to take on this challenge? Well, as I tell my kids, you never say never. And you always take on the challenge. And if you work hard enough, as I tell them, and you show people that you're good enough, you will succeed in no matter what you do. I don't care if you're digging a ditch. You'll be the best ditch digger there is, and you will be successful. Sometimes you need a, a, a crazy event and a crazy project like this to wake up some young people who want to uh, join our profession and say, this is amazing. And then we get their attention, and then uh, they maybe go to Gloria first, and then Gloria sends them to the French Pastry School after that. I'm really excited about it. A little bit nervous. I, I honestly don't think it's going to fit through the door, but I mean, if, if it doesn't, we'll eventually figure out something, but I'm, I'm extremely excited about it. Well, I hope we get it done. <laughs> this is a big project. It's just a phenomenal opportunity. When uh, an organization such as French Pastry School approaches us and asks us if we want to collaborate on a project like this, it ties the teams in to those next step opportunities where they're able to work with skilled professionals from the French Pastry School, be able to talk to them about how did you start your career, how did you get there. Uh, they're able to go to the French Pastry School and, and really you know, understand what it's like, what a career in the culinary arts is going to be for them. Well, we're dividing the bean up into six sections. And each, all of the kids, there were probably 60, 70 kids at the meeting, along with adult mentors, are going to be assigned a section of the bean that they are going to be responsible for planning out, putting the chocolate on, and securing the beans. She needed extra help, and, uh, well, actually, she really doesn't. But uh, it's just such a fun thing to do, and when she asks, I can't say no. Miss Hafer is my second mom. I can go. I can go to her whenever, whenever I need anything. Miss <laughs> Hafer's funny. You know, she's very strict at times, but you know, everybody is. She's actually very outgoing, if you ask me. I mean, she does a lot, and she gives up a lot for us, and I think that's really sweet. You know, it shows she's got a big heart. She's she's amazing. That's that's the only word I could find to describe her. Well, the French Pastry School had a brainstorm or a beanstorm or whatever, and they said, well, we're going to make this replica of Cloudgate, and it's something we've always sort of thought about, but we couldn't quite figure out how to do um, because it does look like a Jelly Belly turned upside down. So when they said, oh, well, we can do a half-size replica of it of it. And I said, okay, you want to give it a shot? Go for it. For the first time, we have chocolate. So we're introducing jelly bean chocolate dips. So all of a sudden, all the pieces came together in the most natural sort of way. Jelly Belly loves chocolate, too. And now we got chocolate-covered beans. Oh, yeah, I'm psyched. I can't believe, you know, I'm going to perform downtown. The amount of jelly beans we're going to have to work with and all that. It gives me chills. And the saver told me that, too, about who we're going to work with and whatnot. They have the uh, After School Matters um, symbol and then they have the French pastry symbol and on the back side it's the um, Chicago skyline and the heart in the middle so basically they're going to cover up with jelly beans and um, different colors. And we'll be here Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays, that's the session that I'll be in and then there's other students that do it Saturday, Sunday and Monday and I'll be coming after school till around 7 until you know. Until it's done? Yes. 
and remember what we said earlier about full circle. Students from the After School Matters program have gone on to benefit from the scholarship in their own career training. I applied for the For Love of Chocolate Scholarship and they asked me to do the fashion show, the dress fashion show for the Love of Chocolates. That's what I'm doing now. I go back and help Gloria Hafer with her other little cakelings. <laughs> it's to mentor them a little bit and tell them how I've gotten so far just being with her. So it may look like a handful of beans right now, but just wait. Thanks to Jelly Belly and After School Matters, this exhibit for the Love of Chocolate Foundation is starting to take shape. You never say never. You always take on the challenge. And you will succeed. Our Jack would be getting ready to climb. Inspiration comes from a lot of places. In Chicago, the Cloudgate Sculpture is a place for dreaming. Tourists and locals alike love to gaze into its depths, see the reflection of the city and their own, and dream about more to come. Which is why making the bean is so symbolic of everything the French Pastry School of Kennedy King College at City Colleges of Chicago and its For the Love of Chocolate Foundation stand for. Thanks to Jelly Belly Candy Company and its new dark chocolate covered jelly bean chocolate dips, this event is shaping up to be a dream come true. Jelly Belly's been making jelly bean art for a couple of decades now, but they've always been two-dimensional portraits, like we have the Mona Lisa and Elvis Presley in, in Jelly Belly Beans, but we've never done anything three-dimensional, and this is such a remarkable accomplishment. It is just amazing. And the kids from After School Matters have really done a remarkable job. They are pros. They're just professionals. They, they did a really great job. I'm so impressed. How many Jelly Belly Beans did you eat? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Too many. <laughs> I have tried every single one of them so far. Even to down to birthday cake, to lemon, to 7-Up, Orange Crush. <laughs> They're all pretty good. Actually, a lot of it changed from the first day. Like, we were told, like, on the, it was just going to have the French pastry logo and our logo and then the skyline. Then it, it turned into Jelly Belly being on it. It was, I thought it was amazing. Like, and then when I saw how big this was, I was in shock. It was, it was crazy. Like, it's huge. Like, I didn't expect it to be this big. I'm glad I'm in, like, joined in this. Sculptured um, the skyline, and every single individual jelly bean has its own flavor. Some of them are multicolored because they have blends of flavors. So it's just like, I don't know, it's been a main experience because we wanted to base it off of our uh, jelly bean in uh, Millennium Park. That's the jelly bean that we got inspired by. So we decided to do our own little jelly bean in the experiment. It's very meticulous to put on one bean at a time, and we think they've put on well over 120,000 beans. It takes a lot of time, and you just work on a little, like a puzzle. You work on a little piece at a time, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And of course, many hands makes the work easier. It was immense. And it was a challenge beyond challenges, not only for myself, but for all of the students and community members that took up the call and came out to help. I learned, again, I, I reach back to my childhood and my bringing up that I was always taught, get out there, work hard, and if you work hard, you can accomplish your goals, and people are going to give back to you, and you can just move forward more and more. I learned to be patient, really patient with this. You know, sometimes you have your jelly beans, you put them on, and then chocolate dries and falls off. But you still have to just be patient with it. Teamwork, working with a team, it's, it's a lot. I tried working on it by myself one time. It doesn't work. You need someone else. And, like, it teaches us how much of a whole we are. Like, we're one big family working on this, so it's great. While the final jelly beans are placed, the Merchandise Mart in downtown Chicago is booming with French Pastry School students, business people, and volunteers, all setting up for the main event, which is now just hours away. Exhibit tables go up, 
the runway is set up complete with stage lighting for the fabulous fashion show with chocolate dresses, accessories, and other tasty items on display. Each section of the exhibit floor has its own theme, drawing the ticket holders into the unexpected, the scientific, even the absurd. Preparations continue, with hair, makeup, and fittings taking center stage before the doors are thrown open. Chocolate pieces are put into place, and a few practice steps are taken down the runway. Meanwhile, a few of the stars of the pastry world come out, ready to do their own giving back. I'm very close with the guys, the chefs at the French Pastry School. I mean, uh, Jackie and Sebastian, I've some, there are two chefs I've looked up to all my life. And, uh, you know, people that I've, I've been a mentor from afar, you know, for me. And uh, when they called me and said, hey, we're doing this event, the last couple of years, I haven't been able to do it. I've been, you know, so busy at the restaurants, but now I'm finally out of the restaurant and I have a little free time. And I really want to kind of catch up with, with friends like this and do more and more charity work. And, and it's, it's special, you know, it, it's a great cause. It essentially like, you know, it's getting kids off the street. Like I grew up in the country, so but still, the kitchen got me, kept me out of trouble as well. So I understand the concept of it. I understand the fact that, you know, you're getting money for scholarship for, for kids that need it. They, they wouldn't be able to have it otherwise. And essentially, I, you know, I got a young scholarship as well, and that's what got me into culinary school as well. So it, it's close to the heart for me. And there are still jelly beans to put into place. Three steps. There we go. Oh, oh la, 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 la. Oh, okay. oh. chocolate on my bean. Yeah, oh, he did. All right. Uh, There's one. The final Jelly Belly Jelly Beans are added by representatives of the French Pastry School and Jelly Belly Candy Company, with the final bean put in place by the teacher who shared the dream, enough to engage her students in something that made a difference. I'm overwhelmed with it. I am absolutely ecstatic with it because, I mean, I knew we were going to get it done. That was my, I just, when I take on a project, it's going to get done. But it, in its magnitude and coloring and everybody coming together, more than I could possibly imagine. It started with a dream. It took shape on note paper. It took one jelly bean to get things rolling. It's the night of the big event. Supporters of this scholarship fundraiser have come out in record numbers to get their senses engulfed by chocolate. They can taste to their heart's content with chocolate and every treatment imaginable, both sweet and savory. The For Love of Chocolate Foundation event is like fantasy brought to life, you know, and that's what pastry chefs are all about. We, we create fantasy and dreams and concoctions that, that delight and inspire. With a carnival theme and a carnival atmosphere, the event offers a chance for people's chocolate fantasies to be fulfilled. And from the fantasy sampling to the chocolate spa, to culinary creations and conversations that will be dreamed of for years, the event takes over the entire first floor of the historic Merchandise Mart, one of the largest buildings in the world. With six themed areas and performances by Red Moon Theater representing Coco Venetian Carnival, Sweet as Sin, Coco Candyland, the confectionery, Coco Sutra, and the Chocolate Spa. But the event is much more than that because the founders of the French Pastry School of Kennedy King College at City Colleges of Chicago created this event for a reason. 
and the event goes on to make a difference in the lives of so many others. Jackie and Sebastian are, are just trying to create a great school of excellence where they create professionals, not just graduates, right, for the pastry industry. It goes deeper than that. Now they've turned this into an event that gives scholarships to students that couldn't normally go. They've associated with themselves with things like after school matters. Like now they're going to the next level. This is they're they're putting grassroots into the culinary industry that people that could never afford to go to French pastry school can. They can then can go out and change the culinary landscape. And that's what that's what the dreams are made of for chefs. And I, I think what they're doing is astounding. Well I think this is really important because this helps fulfill dreams, you know. I think that the educational base you get here and sometimes the means aren't there to, to fulfill your goal and your dream. So events like this and just doing these these types of things to help bring awareness and fun to food and, and enjoy all this. I mean, the crowd is great. I, I just love it. Gosh, I've known, I've known Jackie and Sebastian since I was a little pastry chef. I've known them since their first little classroom and had the chance to see them grow as well and fulfill and fill more dreams with people. So it's just been a blast to watch them grow. When I was coming up, they were in every pastry magazine, you know? And so they were the people that I aspired to be. So it's really fun to be here supporting them. My favorite part is actually the Princess Lollipop. I just love the fact, you know, this was a very personal endeavor in the beginning. A young girl, a friend of Jackie and Sebastian, needed a kidney transplant. It was $50,000. They thought, hey, we'll try to help. Uh, the father was able and willing to, to, to give his kidney, but they didn't have the money. Uh, well, guess what? Now, Princess Lollipop, little Abigail, is uh, going to be in the runway show tonight. She's the honorary chair of the whole event, and she's just got the best personality, and she's here with us today. And, you know, for that family, they certainly did make dreams come true. Ladies and gentlemen, don't be shy. Welcome our first model, Rebecca Ortiz, and her chef designer, Pedro Gomez. It started with a dream, a dream that an event this big, this glamorous, this over the top, and with this much chocolate, could come together in order to benefit a much bigger dream. Because ultimately, it's about the future. It gives students the opportunity to go to the French Pastry School to fulfill their dreams. It's a big dream. Jack of the fairy tale might even call it a giant dream. And for this event, at least, it happened one jelly bean chocolate dip at a time.